Now we're moving on to problem number two. All right, cool. So this is a circle problem. And I kind of have had thought about this one just in my head a little bit before. But all right, we're going to do this in real time. Now, when I looked at this before, I'm like, okay, you can do this pretty much mentally. That being said, we're still going to stick to, to what I mentioned before. The reason why I say draw a diagram when you see a geometry problem, kind of no matter what, it's just get in the habit so you don't ever forget. And it doesn't really take that much time. So we're going to do a very quick circle. And they said endpoints of the diameter at, oops, we got 2, 4, and 2, 14. And it says these are the endpoints of the diameter. So I'm going to draw this down like this. Boom. Then it says the equation is here, right? There's a lot of extra information in this problem. I'm already noticing that we don't need, but that's all good. Uh, we got this equation. That's nice. Uh, this part I wouldn't do on the test, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of explaining the problem. This is going to give us our nice little center, which is 2, 9. And then it's equal to R squared. What is the value of R? Now, R, hopefully you guys know this in this equation, is the radius, okay? And so that's basically all the question is asking. Now we have our diagram. There's a couple ways we could do this. Because I put the center in, we can just figure out what that distance is from 9 to 14. Since mm -hmm. the answers are the same, we got our answer is 5. Or the way that I did it sort of in my head when I was thinking about this problem is, oh, this is the endpoints of the diameter. Well, if the x's are the same, this is a pretty easy distance calculation. Yeah. It's 10. You can divide it by 2, which is 5. Uh, obviously, if you see that, that's golden because you can do it in like 10 seconds. But I still don't mind drawing it out. All right, let me turn it yeah. to you. And so just as another thing, too, I think you're right. It's a super basic one. But like also you can just find the distance putting it into desmos like this so then you know the diameter is 10 and then just cut that in half you know it's funny back on the paper test we used to have to teach the students the distance formula right because yeah 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 it wasn't on the reference table so i love this little hack now because it's like i don't even need to teach my students the distance formula i just show them how to put it in desmos and gotcha. it's something that you don't need to know a lot i feel like the distance formula crops up very infrequently so it's another reason why i don't want my students like overloading their brain with stuff that's like not like utilized all the time so i just wanted to share that too it's so true. And I do have it in one of my formula videos for like one of the forms, but I agree with you because it's kind of a complicated formula and we want to limit the amount of things for students to memorize. And also the distance formula. What if you make a tiny mistake when you're memorizing yeah. it, right? Like if you think it's X1 minus Y1 squared instead of the right yeah. formula. If you, could you share my screen one more time? I just want to show another way. This is not going to be the most efficient way, but I want to put this out there as well for students because maybe you forget the format of a circle equation. You're kind of confused. Uh, so as a workaround, what you can do here, hold on, let me see. We got X minus two, Y minus nine. All right. So check this out. We got X minus, oops. So we got a slider in there, right? We're representing C. Sometimes I get paranoid with other letters. So that's why I didn't put an R. But we got this nice equation. And then remember, we're trying to solve for C. But they did give us one other piece of information, right? They gave us two endpoints, 2, 4, and 2, 14. And now we can play around with it, right? Oh, we that's like, cool, yeah. Once the circle gets to the point where both of those are being kind of in, incorporated into the circle, we're good to go. And we just kind of go blah, 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 boom. Oops, wait, missed it. There we go. So that's another way that you can kind of get to the answer. Not to do they have to do they have to do the sound effects? Like the blah. Uh, yeah, that's mandatory. <laughs> Don't worry if the proctor tells you to quiet down. Just you know, talk smack back to the proctor. Don't that's let. Right. It. You tell the proctor to quiet down. 